Hello and welcome to our today's how-to video on the multi-flow technology. Today we want to show you on how to interconnect different inverters to each other without the need of a physical data communication between each other. With our AC coupling technology called multi-flow technology, you have now the possibility to interconnect multiple inverters to each other without the active data communication. So for example, you can interconnect our new Gen24 Plus device with an existing Fonio Snap Inverter Series device, or even, alternative to that, you can couple it with a third-party inverter. With that, you have the possibility to gather all that data in Fonio SolarWeb to make sure that you have a good overview for monitoring and visualization of your loads. Let me show you the functionality of the multi-flow technology here in our schematic. First of all, we see here a standard PV system. We have our Gen24 Plus hybrid inverter. We have a PV generator coupled to it. Of course, we can use the energy to store it into the battery system and to use this energy during the night time hours. Furthermore, we can charge the battery from the public grid and of course, use the energy to fed into the uh, public grid. Furthermore, very important component here is the Fonio smart meter at the feeding point. With the smart meter, we have the possibility to determine the energy flows coming from and going into the public grid. So with this multi-flow technology, you have the possibility to do all these energy flows at the same time. And plus to that, you can always add up a second or third or fourth inverter and do the so-called AC coupling. So all you need to do for that is to AC couple an inverter to this system and now the Gen24 Plus can take the energy from the third party inverter or for the second Fonius inverter to even charge the battery system optionally with that energy. So whenever doing so, you can take the data from the Fonius inverter, it will be automatically uh, redirected to Fonius SolarWeb and you have then gathered all your data in Fonius SolarWeb. Furthermore, you can do this setup, of course, even without PV generator on the Gen24 Plus. So whenever you have an existing PV system, you can just add up a Gen24 Plus to the system and add, for example, a battery storage to it. Furthermore, you have the possibility to do this with a third party inverter or even a hydropower plant or wind turbine. So depending on which AC uh, producer you are using, you can instantly add it into Fonio SolarWeb and add it into your overall system. All you need to do for that is of course to use the AC coupled uh, generator here and then the Gen24 Plus can uh, signal or can sense the energy coming from this AC generator with the Fonio smart meter at the feeding point and then you can use that energy even to charge your battery with it. If you want to do the visualization and monitoring of this uh, third party inverter, you can even install a so-called secondary smart meter to the system and therefore make sure that the energy flow and data consumption analysis and production analysis is being tracked with the secondary smart meter here. So with the secondary smart meter, you then have the perfect visualization, perfect monitoring of that system. So next up, let me show you on how to add up such a secondary smart meter and add up a battery storage to your Gen24 Plus system. So first of all, all we need to do is to access the Gen24 Plus web interface. Here in the web interface, we have the possibility to enter the settings of the inverter. If you want to know on how to enter the web interface of Gen24 Plus, we have the possibility to watch our other how-to videos on how to commission the Gen24 Plus and how to access the web interface. So now here on the left side of the page, you will see here now the point device configuration and we can click on it and instantly log in with our technician password. Please note, therefore you use your technician password to log in on this page and then here we can directly go to the components page. Under the components, you instantly see the already added components. So in this case, we have already added during the first commissioning of the system, a PV generator, as well as a primary smart meter to this system. You can always easily add another component by just adding, uh, adding a component. And when you click on the plus symbol, you can now choose, for example, the power meter. So this would be our first example when we have a third party uh, inverter or another producer like a wind turbine in that system and we want to monitor and visualize this system, we can do that with a secondary meter. First of all, you are choosing the type of meter, in our case, Fonio Smart Meter RTU. And then we are choosing if this is a production meter or a consumption meter. 
So in this case, when you're adding up a generator, please choose the production meter and then make sure that it doesn't have the same Modbus address as the primary meter. So normally when you install a primary meter, it has Modbus address one. And when you're adding a secondary smart meter, please make sure that it has a different address than the primary one. So in this case, we are choosing Modbus address number two, and then we are giving a name. So it is inverter number two, for example. And then we are choosing the category. And in this case, you can choose between, for example, a PV inverter, a wind turbine, a combined heat and power plant. So depending on what you want to add here. So in our case, we are choosing a PV inverter to categorize the secondary smart meter to this PV inverter. Then we go to the add button. And last but not least, we can optionally add also a battery storage to it. So therefore we are adding here a battery storage. We are choosing the type. In our case, we are now choosing the BYD battery. We have here the SOC limit mode set to auto. So the battery will adjust itself depending on the inverter. And then of course we have down below here, the button for allow battery charging from other generators in the home network. And this means that whenever you have a secondary generator in that system, you can just add up here the AC power of this, uh, of this uh, generator. And for example, if you're installing a 6 kV AC output inverter, you're just putting in here 6 kilowatt. And with that and the click on the add button, you can make sure that these components are being added to the system. And when you are finished, please hit also the save button to make sure that the components are being saved and stored to your PV system. So this is basically all the configuration that you need to do. And second up, I want to show you now here how to add components in the Fonio Solar Web System. So whenever you are in the Fonio Solar Web System, you can go here on the main page to the point settings. And under settings, you will find the components page. And here in the components page, you can always add up new devices to your solar web system. So let's assume you already have a Gen24 Plus device and you now want to add up a snap inverter to that system to do the visualization, to do the monitoring. And the beauty of that is that you don't need to have any uh, physical connection between the two inverters, but Fonio Solar Web will add up the data coming from both inverters and put it together in Fonio Solar Web to give you a nice overall view. All you need to do for that is to click on add a new device here. And then you can choose the data source type, in this case, either data manager for the Snap Inverter series, Gen24 Plus or Tauro, and as well a Watt Pilot can be also added here. So in this case, when you choose the data manager, all you need to do is to add the data source and you can do that by putting in the data log ID of the device. You can find out the data log ID by just open up the Wi-Fi access point of the, uh, of the Snap Inverter. And when opening up that access point, you have the possibility to read out the data logger ID. So it is being shown on the display of the inverter directly. So there stands Fronius underline and then the data logger ID itself. Or you can just access the web interface of the, uh, of the snap inverter device and therefore get the data log ID there. Second thing is of course the Gen24 Plus or Tauro. And therefore you can also add up the serial number and the so-called V code. So you will find this information on the side of the Gen24 Plus. So here on the data shield, you will see the serial number as well as the V code of the device. All you need to do then is to add up the serial number and the V code and then hit the OK button to add your uh, devices to your PV system. After that, you will have the full visualization, the full data coming from that system. And then in the overview of the system, you will see all data from these inverters that you have added in your overall PV system and have the perfect visualization, the perfect monitoring of that system. So I hope this information was helpful for you. I hope you will have now the possibility to add up all your inverters in your solar web system and get the perfect monitoring out of it. I wish you all the best with that. See you the next time here at the Fonius how-to videos. See you and goodbye.